Hi, Interwebs. I thought we'd try something a little bit different today. I had a bunch of copies of these Electronics Today International magazines. They're all from the uh, early 80s. As you can see, this one's from May 1982. Um, they were a great magazine back in the day. I got lots of information from them. I had them up on eBay and I didn't seem to get a whole lot of interest from them. So I thought maybe this way I could share them with everyone and we could just go over some of the highlights of them. The lighting might be a little bit funny here, so I'm going to do my best. Paper is very high gloss and uh, it's kind of hard to light. So I'm thinking we'll just go over and take a look at some of the ads for uh, what was available in computers way back in the day. Like this one here, what you should know about the Multiflex Z80A computer. Only $450 assembled and tested with, check it out, big extra 2K of RAM free this month only. Bear in mind that back in 82, well, you can look it up for yourself, but uh, you compare what your rent was back in 82 or what a loaf of bread cost, that $450 was quite a bit. Woohoo! Here we got a couple of the new Tektronix 2213 and 2215 scopes. Check out the 2215 for only $2,160. I'm pretty sure you could buy a car for just a few dollars more at that point. Hey look, it's NRI, National Radio Institute as it used to be known. At this point it was all uh, the McGraw-Hill Continuing Education Center. I actually took classes from these guys. I've got two diplomas hanging up on my wall, I hate to admit, uh, for classes that I took through correspondence from these guys back in the late 90s. Wow, check it out. Here's a full color ad from Meter Master. They must have paid a whole bunch extra to get those because this was uh, primarily a black and white magazine. Even all their own, um, all the projects and everything were all in black and white. Most of the pictures, everything. So. Here we've got a 6809 board. Oh, look at that. It's got 48K of RAM oh, and an RS-232C interface. Wow, this must have been just awesome back in the day. You could hook it up to a monitor. You didn't have to do all your programming through your, your little hex keypad and view it on your LCD or L LCD, LED back then. Here we've got an ad for a ZX81 personal computer kit at only $149.95. That wasn't bad actually for then. I think I may actually still have one of these somewhere around. Ooh. And here we also have the RCA Cosmac VIP for $139. You definitely wanted the ZX81. Way better. I actually had one of these way back in the day. I think if you actually go on to the um, the computer museum website you'll actually find a listing for one of these and I think the picture they have up there is the one that I actually submitted. Here's the new technology of the digital disc played by a laser pickup oh, with no direct surface contact at all. May signal the eventual demise of the conventional record and turntable. You never know, it might still happen. Wait a minute. Maybe it already did. And for those of you that uh, maybe missed this entire generation, this is how we used to take our programs from magazines and get them into our computers. We had to take all the listings of all the code and very carefully retype it into our computer. No getting stuff off the internet then. The internet wasn't even going to be in Canada for another... Mmm, got to be another 12, 14 years after this. Ooh, next month, coming up, we've got the Heath Kit, H89. I used to have one of these, too, way back in the day. Another oscilloscope. This is a dual trace being sold by Duncan Instruments. This one's only 940 bucks. 20 megahertz. Awesome. Ah. Eh. 
Here's an ad for RAE Industrial Electronics right here in Burnaby, BC. About a 10 minute drive from here. Since we're on the topic of uh, oscilloscope, I don't even know if there's a price tag on this one. They were probably too scared to show it. This is a 50 megahertz one by Leader. I uh, don't see a price tag on this one. It was probably so much they just didn't have the nerve to show the price. Telescopes were big in this month's issue. Here's a Hamig 20 megahertz one. Only 760 bucks. That may be our deal of the day in this mag. Oh, price includes two probes at that. Gotta like that. And over here on the other page, the old Sinclair ZX81 kit. 1495. That's in kit form. Or if you wanted to wuss out, $199.95. This was the one with the old chiclet style keyboard before they got an actual real keyboard on it. Back page of the magazine, almost done with this issue. You could get your own Sinclair PDM35 digital multimeter, only $49.95. Wow! Or a digital frequency counter for $99.95. 20 hertz to 20 megahertz. Ooh, it's not bad for back. And here's the back cover of it showing an Atom. Never actually did own one of these as far as I know. But considering it had color graphics, $5.99, yeah. Actually had some software available. Hmm. Anyway, that was the May 82 edition of Electronics Today International. This was just an experiment. Let me know in the comments if you want to see some of the other ones. And I'll, uh, I'll do another couple of quickie episodes of this. I've got uh, June, July, August, and September of 82, and April of 83. So if there's any interest in this, like I say, let me know in the comments and I'll... Uh, I'll do up another episode. Thanks for watching.